Hello there folks, Nathan here, hope you're all well and welcome back to food and drink reviews here on my channel. Yes, it's been a little while, uh, let's recap, the last thing we looked at was the Takis Fuego and that was a good few weeks ago now, well just over a fortnight ago now that was. Uh, reason being is obviously um, my mum weighed me just to see how much I weighed and um, I was weighing quite a, an alarming an alarming amount. So, um, you know, I've been trying to uh, watch what I eat over these past few weeks. I've cut down on on treats and snacks and things like that uh, to try and, you know, get my weight down a bit. It has been working. It has been working. You'll be pleased to know. But uh, I had a slight bump in the road last weekend because I went and had a night out last weekend. And um, obviously we're drinking alcohol that piles the pounds back on and then what with me nursing off a hangover all the, all day last Sunday I wasn't really getting out to do any exercise uh, so I gained a pound from that uh, hopefully I've lost it hopefully I've lost it again hopefully I've lost a little bit more since then who knows but I thought, well, you know, I've been doing so well. I haven't, I, you know, haven't given in to temptation to have any treats. Uh, so I thought, go on. It's still the weekend and it's nearly Christmas season. It's the 28th of November today. I was about to say December. It's the 28th of November today. Um, you know, December starts in two days. It's then the Christmas season. You've got to let yourself go a bit, ain't you? Coming up to Christmas. Uh, so I thought I'll have a tr I'll have a treat, but not only that, um, the product that we're actually looking at, which you can see in front of you, is something that I've seen advertised for quite a while. Um, I first saw them advertised on TikTok, and then I've seen them on Facebook uh, here and there, but never seemed to be able to find them up until now. I went down the road today to get some shopping, and sure enough they were there so i was like gotta try them so these are the jaffa cake joe nuts so they're donuts but they're jaffa cake flavored and as you can see from the photo they're they've got a chocolate coating well they're on the top anyway the top's coated in chocolate and in the middle you've we've got orange flavoring and then the sponge underneath so it's it's a joe nut it's a jaffa cake slash donut so let's have a look at them let's have a look at the box um i'll i'll show you the box and then i'll have a read with my magnifying glass afterwards do a little bit of reading we'll have a look at the uh, ingredients so they are new it says on the box they're new they're made by a company called McVitie's. Uh, they make quite a nice selection of products, actually. McVitie's, rich tea, digestives, hobnobs. Um, yeah, quite a, quite a lot of biscuits out there that they make. And also they make Jaffa cakes. And as I said, these are the Jaffa Joe Nuts. And look at that. They've even used one as the O. A new original, I think that says. I'm not going to try and read backwards. You've got the uh, information there. And then the side of the box. Is there something there? Obviously, I'll, I'll read it out in a moment. It says exactly the same on the other side. Flipping around then to the back of the box. There you are. There's a little bit of information on there. And then you've got the ingredients, nutritional facts, and allergy advice on the back of the box there. So, let me have a look. Let me get my magnifying glass and I'll have a look. New McVitie's Jaffa Donuts, a new original. Uh, four individually wrapped donuts. So you get four in a box. That's all right. You can have one a day or maybe one per weekend, eh? Hey, how about that? Run up to Benidorm, I'll have a Joe Nut, a Joe Nut a week to count down. How about that? <laughs> That's if they last. I'll have to check the date. Uh, new original, uh, say, 
the love child of the epic Jaffa cakes and the delicious donut. We call them Joe Nuts. Each ring, uh, it's 43 grams, contains, that sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? Keep it clean, keep it clean. Uh, right, 700k energy, 6.4 grams of fat. Tearing me, what am I doing? Uh, saturates 1.6 grams, sugars 14.8 grams, 0 0.29 grams of salt. Uh, of an adult's reference intake, energy per 100 grams, 388 calories. Goodness me. And then it says, jump from j jump for Jaffa Joy. You've hit the snack pot. I think it says that on both sides. Oh no, this side it says, do not try to resist or do not try to resist. I didn't see that. Yeah, it says that on that side. And then I think I showed you the other side. Right, on the back then, you can get it, follow them on Facebook at Jaffa Cakes or on Instagram at Jaffa Cakes Official. Thought Jaffa Cakes couldn't get any more epic? Think again. A magic Jaffa combo, but with a twist. Soft, donutty shaped sponge, tangy orange filling, topped with a layer of crackly chocolate. There's the nutritional information. And also, any more, if you want to know any more, anything else health wise, you can visit www.123healthybalance.com. So these are the ingredients. It says four light sponge donut shaped rings with orange flavor filling covered in dark crackly chocolate. The ingredients are orange flavored filling, sugars. So I'm just gonna read the ingredients in bold because that's for allergy advices. So please be aware that uh, juice stabilizer, wheat flour, milk, soya, whole eggs, uh, dried whey milk, uh, though, yeah, including, so for allergy advice, see ingredients in bold, so I've read a couple of the ingredients out there in bold, in bold. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. They are also suitable for vegetarians as well. Best before see back of pack. Oh, where's that? Ah, here we go. Best before 26th of March 2022. That is absolutely bonza. That is fine. Right then. Well, I think uh, nothing more to do, is there, but get them out. So it looks like, if I'll just show you, there is like a, a tab here. Yeah, that's it. Let me just lift that and then, oh, well, that's convenient, isn't it? That opens quite easily. So obviously we'll just have one. Oh, that's good. They're not quite as big as I thought they'd be. There we are. We'll get one out. So they're individually wrapped, as I did mention previously. So we'll uh, set them to one side. So like I said, so maybe if I have one every Sunday, maybe. Um... We have one every Sunday, so we have one today, one on the 5th, one on the 12th, and one on the 19th. They are. Countdown to Christmas with a with a Jaffa Cake Jonas. <laughs> so here is the packaging then. So that come nicely wrapped up. Can't smell anything just yet. So let's get this open. I'm wondering if I could maybe open it slightly differently. And we could use the packaging as a sort of tray. I'm going to be very careful with this and see. Ah, so the inside of the packaging is foil. Keep it nice and fresh. Wow, <laughs> they are a lot smaller than I thought they'd be. 
See, on TikTok, they're made to look ever so big. But hey, look at that. Right, now I'll, I'll plonk it the right way up for you. So, oh, wow. <laughs> that, that looks pretty cool. Oh, it smells like absolute heaven. Oh, my goodness. Right then, are you ready for the reveal? Ta -da -da -da. There we go. There she be. The Jaffa Cake Joe Nuts. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? So, yeah, it looks it looks more or less like a giant Jaffa Cake of sorts, except it's got a, a hole in the middle. And it's more like a donut. If I just flip it up for you, there you go. You can see, you can see it's got the the rounded sort of shape to it. Typical of your common ring donut or Dunkin' Donut. Looks like a wheel, doesn't it? Put it that way. Looks like a wheel. Yes. So. That's what they look like on the outside. I'm going to try and there. Yeah, look at that. There you go. That'd be a good thumbnail, wouldn't it? I don't know if it will use that. Don't know what the thumbnail will be because uh, I can't take photographs anymore and use them as the thumbnail because YouTube won't let me for some reason. So when I, when it comes to uploading videos and picking thumbnails. I just have to try and pick the best one out of the options it gives me. So hopefully it will give us a good one. Right, let's break. Let's try and break this in half and see if we can see what's inside. I want to try and do it nicely. There we go. Oh, look at that. Nailed it. Look at that. Oh, right. Okay, I'm going to bring it closer. Pan down again. There we go. Look at that. Look, you can see. There's the orange center in there. So I'll probably eat this bit. And we will use this bit to visualize. Wow. Wow. Looks very nice, doesn't it? So I think the time has come because I've been looking for these for, for months now. Absolute months. I think it is time to give this a try. So I'm about to start eating. So if, if you know, if you're a bit sensitive to people chewing, you might want to make a volume adjustment. You might, uh, might want to especially if you've got headphones on uh, you might want to lower your volume a little bit obviously i won't put the camera on me i'll keep it on this so you can visualize the actual donut or joe nut and i will also try and look away as well just to try and minimize any noise but uh, here we go folks i've waited a long time for this First taste of a McVitie's Jaffa, Jaffa, I can't say Jaffa cake, it's not a Jaffa cake, it's a Jaffa Joe Nut. Let's give it a try. Mmm. This it reminds me more of a cake than a donut. Very spongy. It's good. I'd have liked, liked maybe a little bit more of the orange zest. You can sort of taste it in with the sponge. And it tastes exactly like a Jaffa cake. But I thought they would have put maybe a little bit more filling in. Just to give it um, a little bit more of a moist consistency. Because... The sponge is very dry. 
Um, might be nice to have with a cup of tea or coffee. Fortunately, I've got a can of Pepsi to the side of me, so I'm going to have to uh, wet me whistle. Mm. I'm not knocking them though. I still think they are they're quite nice. You know, it's not ne never going to be perfect. It's only meant to be a representation, really, isn't it, of a Jaffa cake? But you know, it's just a clever, a clever recreation. But yeah, the chocolate. Um, you know, very light sweetness to the chocolate, but it is dark chocolate. So obviously dark chocolate tends to have a less sweeter tone to it than obviously milk chocolate or white chocolate. Uh, but that's very accurate, the taste. And obviously you can taste the orange zest, but like with a real Jaffa cake, you don't really get much. You don't really get much in there. It's only a fine layer of orange jelly um, on on the top but it would have been nice as I said for these because these are a little bit bigger it would have been nice to have filled them a little bit more with the orange zest I mean you can see it you can see it in there you can definitely see it Maybe maybe the part that I ate um, didn't have as much didn't have as much uh, zest in it. Who knows? Oh, thought that was on silent. Excuse me, phone. But as I said, you know, I'm not knocking them. I'm really glad that I got the opportunity to try them. Really glad. So, is there anything else I can say about them? Uh, not really. Um, the sponge reminds me more of a a fairy cake, really. You know, because sponge. Sorry, a uh, sponge in a fairy cake. Um, you know, it's that dry. It's got you know, it's quite dry. So that's what I said, maybe a lot, have it with a cup of tea or coffee or or a drink. You know, have a drink handy because it can make your throat feel a little bit dry. But it's a nice taste and obviously it is very accurate to the the Jaffa cake. It's not the same consistency as the Jaffa cake. The Jaffa cake's got um, a little bit more of a harder bite to it um, than this. This is a very soft, very soft bite. It's very light and fluffy, the uh, the texture. Well, not the texture, but as you're eating it, it's, it's got a very light, airy sort of feel to it. But it is still nice, as I said. And it does really remind me of the real thing, of a real Jaffa cake. I think it's a very clever recreation, as I said, and I'm glad that I've had the opportunity to give them a try so on that note i think we've got enough footage here for another review so it just i'm just going to end this now by thanking you all very much for watching and i hope you've enjoyed this please do leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video leave a comment in the comment section if you've tried them let me know what you thought uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you are one of my fantastic subscribers thank you so much for your support it really does mean a great deal i will try and try and do some content on the run up to christmas you know just to uh try and keep the channel going and uh don't forget to share the channel as well try and get me some more subscribers and until the next video, whatever, or indeed whenever that may be, well, I know what it's going to be, but I don't know when it's going to be. I'm not going to tell you what it is either. All I'll say is that it's something to unbox. So it's not something to eat. 
it's something to unbox but i'm not going to tell you any more so uh, yeah you'll have to you'll have to stay tuned for that video so whenever that may be it just remains for me to say now uh take care stay safe stay strong i know we're, we're facing more yet more challenges at the moment but stay strong you know we've, we've got through it before we'll get through again so you know keep your chin up just you know stay safe do you do do your bit and you know we, we'll get through eventually eventually we'll get through these choppy waters and it'll be smooth sailing once again and of course as granddad murray always used to say stay happy and i will bid you a very good day.